everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am back to showing you my collection today. So we are going to move on with one of my favourite folders. As you can see, this isn't one of the hollow beauty big bang folders. This is actually a born pretty one and this is my oldest stamping folder. And we have science fiction, space fiction and comic in here. It's a bit of a mixed bag this one, but one of my favorite folders. So let's have a look at what's inside. So we're starting off with a new one to my collection. This is kind of just animated um, series. This has uh, the likes of Frozen, what's his name, Olaf from Frozen? Uh, Tom and Jerry, Spongebob, some minions down here. This one I don't recognize. I'm sure I'm, I'm, sure I'm being silly, but I, I don't recognize that one. We have Homer. We have down here another one that I don't really recognize. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, actually, no, sorry. It's Wally. It's Wally, is it? Is that Wally? It looks a bit like Wally. Um, we have Dory from Finding Nemo. This one looks like a stormtrooper with Mickey Mouse ears. Am I wrong about that? I'm not sure. We have Sully and Mike from Monsters Inc. We have here, um, oh gosh, uh, is that the monster from Monsters Inc? The bad guy? I'm not sure. Um, up here we have Pikachu and then we have the little squirrel type creature from Ice Age movies. And that is the Creative Shop stamping plate number 67. This plate was sent to me by the wonderful Lisa Hendy. This is Creative Shop number 35. They do some of the greatest iconic kind of images. And this is the Walking Dead and Game of Thrones stamping plate. So we've lots of Walking Dead kind of imagery here. That's obviously the Night King. We have Winters here. We have some cool patterns. We have down here uh, um, of some floral designs. Got some zombie stuff. I need to remember this plate actually for Halloween. Got the dragon and ice down here. What well, looks like ice, maybe it's flames. Uh, we've got some cracking ice here. The dire wolf, which is brilliant. This stamps so well. I've used this quite a bit. And uh, yeah, just some, I like that skull down there actually as well. Next, we have another creative shop. This is number 46. I bought this one myself. This is Guardians of the Galaxy, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Deadpool, and up here, Serenity, which is one of my husband's favorite shows. So we have Danny over here, the Night King again. Oh, sorry, no, a White Walker, sorry. Uh, the ice, I did this, it, it's really hard to clean. It's so well ingrained, so that's why it's a little bit grubby. And yeah, you can see there, we've got this cool kind of planetary image here. And we have these cool Serenity images. Uh, anyone watch this show? It's on Netflix. It's really good. It's a bit 90s, but oh, and we've got uh, what looks to be Darth Vader down there. Is it Darth Vader? Groot, which I really need to do, and I am Groot. Um, Manny. And Deadpool I used already too. So yeah, that is number 46. Then we have some comic book images. I haven't used these enough and I really need to. I got these because I was a big fan of the likes of Bunty and, um, oh gosh, their names are escaping me now, but they were kind of like, they were comics for girls I like it sounds ridiculous but I got them as kind of hand-me-downs from my cousins who were much older or neighbors who were much older so they weren't actually popular when I was young but they were popular for maybe a generation behind me and um, so yeah if you read Bunty or anything like that let me know in the comments so that's what these reminded me of I really like them they're kind of I guess girl power versions of comic book strips this one in particular is from Mo Yu and this is 07 so we've got this woman down here slapping her husband and saying make me a sandwich I mean, that's just dreadful and then we've got this makeup here uh, we've got this kind of YOLO. They've kind of been modernized a little bit, I guess. Um, we have no spoilers, please, which I might use for Game of Thrones, actually. Um, bitch, please. Rom. Oh, no. Rom. Is, it, is it Rom? Ra. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, we've got other ones over here. FML. 
uh, the Fouque and then some over here so yeah really like this one actually I need to pull this out. I was going to use this last week and I decided not to so need to do that this one I've used this is from creative shop it's number 75 another kind of comic book inspired one I've used this one for sure when I first started getting success stamping it was on this plate actually as well oh roses I forgot that was here I need to use that and yeah just kind of similar so really like those comic book inspired ones and another one here this is 03 I think I showed you this in the live stream I got this in particular to do some Archer Manny's it isn't an Archer plate but kind of looks like a comic book noir type thing but it does it's very similar kind of imagery to um, um, Archer so yeah and then we're on to mythical fiction kind of creatures I don't want to blind you but this one is going to be hard to see this is 116 this is a unicorn one from creative shop try and show it to you without blinding but it's got lots of kind of really unusual unicorn imagery and I really like that I like how cr creative shop tends to be a little bit edgy um, right up my alley I like it a lot so we've got a fly in the room folks so he might be attention seeking we'll see and um, this is the beauty big bang XL 007 you've probably seen this a lot this summer um, so this is basically their unicorn plate. I think I already showed you this, so I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it, but there you go. It's a really, really great plate. Brilliant for reverse stamping. I really enjoyed using that for my monthly mythical Manny in July, as I did with this one. This is from Born Pretty, and this is their unicorn versus the rainbow world plate. It's A06. And I'm not sure if this was a 2018 or 2017 release, but yeah, here you've got your images. All unicorns, all amazing. I love this. This one especially. It's really cool. And the Moyu unicorn plate. You can see I like unicorns, but I also like the fact that they have some kind of straight patterns here as well. This, I don't know, I had a bit of trouble with this one. I need to try it again. Um, but anyway, this is from the Hipster Collection and it's number 22 really pretty designs on it very different from the other unicorn plates uh, this feels a little bit more kind of artistic almost I don't know or grown up if you like I mean it's not but I don't know these ones look very kind of uh, ethereal almost so yeah that's their unicorn plate so then we're into some sci-fi plates I've used this already this is from Moyu and it's zero one I, the last time I looked, this was still on sale and it's just got lots of cutesy little kind of uh, aliens and um, yeah, just little sayings at the bottom. I did use this one before and uh, yeah, I really like it. It's really cute for reverse stamping. Good one to start out with actually when you're reverse stamping. And this is the second one. This is also from the sci-fi collection and it's number two. This one has robots on it mainly and kind of... Uh, mutated toys or little yeah little toys I guess and again similar type of theme with the kind of things they can say on the bottom as well really cute and then we have this one which is brand new and I have not used yet as of recording and this is a 09 from Born Pretty and it's Deep Cosmos so we'll see here this one I really like. I need to pull this out actually for the autumn because I feel like that's when you do a lot of space. Uh, that's when we watch all our space programs and I think the night at sky comes back or the sky at night comes back on TV and stuff like that. So yeah, really like this one with the mountains. So love this plate and that is from Born Pretty. This one whew, from Bundle Monster. One of my first plates from Bundle Monster and kind of started an obsession this year with me absolutely adore this plate i think i've used every part of this plate so it's very futuristic it's from their time machine collection you saw some plates from that or you will see some plates from that in future videos and uh yeah it's just got your aliens it's got space related things it's got this west world oh, sorry this yeah well i used it for a west world manny this robot in the middle absolutely love it and then you're kind of traditional this kind of reminds me of the robot in rocky four i think it is or rocky three i can't remember this plate is, oh sorry, the Time Machine one I should have said is BMXL134. Uh, um, 
the Creative Shop number 69. This got a great response when I did my Harry Potter manicure. We also have um, the Alice in Wonderland kind of theme here. Edward Scissors Hands, which I really need to use. It's a little bit big, that one. Hmm, but I'll see if I can do something with it. We have Beauty and the Beast. Um, we have these ones, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure if this was Hercules. I'm not entirely sure what these ones are. Then we've got a Harry Potter here and here and here and here. And then we have um, the Corpse Bride, I think, the Adams Family then here. These two, I don't know. So maybe you can let me know what, you, what they are. So that's number 69. And then, oh, my Rick and Morty plate from BFF. This is number 60, oh no, sorry, 87. Oh, love this plate so, so much. The only thing that is missing from this is the spaceship. I would have liked the spaceship. But other than that, it's a beautiful plate and uh, really, really recommend BBF. Absolutely love them. Then we have a princess collection, which could have gone in my fairy tale one as well, but I just put it in here because uh, I, I know where it is, but and it's kind of, it, fit, it fits in here. So um, yeah, it's just got basic fairy tale type um, uh, motifs or icons on it. This is from the princess collection from Mo Yu and it's 07. And it's just a really kind of cute, um, really cute little plate. And that's it. That's it for my sci-fi space fiction comic folder. All right, I will see you the next time. Bye.